This video is powered by AMD. Alright guys, we are back again with another video and today you can see here that I have my Tab S2 with me and you're wondering why do I have it with me now in this video It's because today is the day the Galaxy Tab S2 for my region has finally received the Android Nougat update which is Android 7.0 Yes, I know it took some time for the tablets to receive it because the, uh, the, their smartphones are actually faster than the tablets in terms of update so it's finally here and this is Tab S2 by the way, this, one is, this is not the Tab S3 that was just recently announced so let's have to take a look here so you can see over here, let me zoom in a bit software update, update downloaded so we're gonna try and uh, check out the change log so let's just, uh, so here we go this is what's new and it's about 1 gig, so you can see it's about 1.052 MB and yeah new os upgrade and new interface so we're gonna get some uh, new features from the galaxy tab s3 i heard uh similar ui to the galaxy s8 and yeah so we're gonna get some new features that uh, is interesting to check it out later once we update the device so yeah we i have enough space i already backed up uh, all my things and now we're gonna continue with the installation so i'm gonna hit install and it will take some time depending on your oops sorry depending on your uh, internet speed uh, to download the files and on your tablet uh, depends on how much apps you have so if you have lesser apps then it will be faster but if you have a lot of apps then it will take a while to optimize the apps so yeah basically now it's going to do its uh, reboot process you can see tab s2 and yeah so I'm going to uh, cut here and I'll be right back once the tablet has finally done its upgrade so see you guys in the next segment Alright guys, we are back again and welcome back to the next segment of the video and I've already done updating my tablet so you can see we're running on Nougat already so before we go into anything, let's go to settings and check oh, there was a message saying my device was updated let's go to settings and check the version you can see the UI is changed a lot so we'll go through that later, let's go to about tablet I think it's over here, software information and let me just zoom in so you can have a closer look so you can see Android 7.0 which is no good we're gonna try and play the easter egg here we go no good okay so you can see the build number we have updated to T815YD VU2CQD9 uh, this may vary if you're using a different Tab S2 variant so it might be different a bit so this is the one that was updated for my uh, Tab S2 and here is the uh, let's take a look at the patch level so you can see you're running on uh, April security patch which is April 1st not the latest one but still pretty okay i mean i think the last patch that i received was last year july 1st it was on marshmallow until then they didn't update my device already so yeah this is the one we get with nougat which is april 1st and now let us take a look at the new features that we get and the new things that i find uh, that has changed so you clearly can see that over here we have a new notification notification style here for the status bar i think you can tweak that in settings i'll show you guys that later so let us take a look this is the ui so it's pretty much uh, the same one as the galaxy s8 ui so you can see the icons now let's see chrome you can see uh, it's more uniform uh, icons there all across the apps you can see all is circular and you can change them i can i think you can change them in uh, settings let's take a look at the wallpapers what do we get so <laughs> All the same ones, no change. Uh, still, we get Flipboard briefing there, and these are the apps. And let's just go to uh, see what what apps do we get. Uh, so all the apps here, this all my apps. Some of them, um, the Galaxy apps you can see has been updated. So this is the new app store, uh, the updated one. Um, I think internet has updated as well to the S8 in the internet, uh, Samsung internet. So let's take a look at it. Yeah, it looks uh, pretty much like the Tab S3 so in the browser. Very nice. Very nice and clean. Let's take a look at the dialer. So I think this is pretty much the same as the Tab S3's dialer as well. So yeah. And let's take a look at uh, some other apps. Maybe... Um... Oh, we do get... Uh... Mm, let me check. Check Google's... Uh, nothing in the Google folder. Games? No... Hmm, I 
think that's all the apps that we get I mean that's, they didn't really add any apps for us or remove any so no bloatware there let's go to settings so here is where the drastic change happens you can see the settings panel pretty much like the Galaxy Tab S3's panel or the S8 so it's more uh, the UI is more uh, how to say simple and uh, nice it's not so cluttered so everything is into one category at least let's say go connections you can see everything here is in connections uh, let's see uh, anything in connections that i find that is new i think all these are pretty much the same so this is sound notifications display let me see if we can tweak the display uh type i don't think you can do that let's just try and see i can find it yeah you, see, you can this is status about this one i'm talking about you can uh you can show recent notifications if you want so now it's showing three and let's say i turn this off it will show all the notifications that are present which is nice so let us go back and we still have screen mode with but we still can't control the screen resolution it's kind of interesting and here we have the new one icon frames as i said you can you can uh, make all your apps uniform or you can just use icons only which will show the original one I'm gonna change it and show you guys what is the difference. So now let's say I go home. You can see the Play Store app has changed to a Play Store icon, which is the original one. Which is a different size. So that's one. Oh, this is the multi window that they're showing us. So here we go. We can uh, press here to uh, open another. There's a little icon here you can press. And you can open a compatible app that supports multi window, which is nice. Let's say the internet. And there you go you get the new nugget uh, multitasking uh, UI here you can change the width higher or you can lower or you can just close it completely nice um, let's see device maintenance is new so this one uh, was on the Tab S3 as well and the, on the Galaxy S8 I've been using it as well and this one I think is like a sort of a, uh, how to say optimizer it cleans your device uh, junk files it optimizes the storage uh, memory as well as security so you can just press this button it will handle everything so you can see it clearing it's clearing all those uh, unwanted junk and also closing the background apps that you don't need so yep and you can press done and you can see my uh, score now is 90 which is pretty high and excellent see advanced features um oh this is new these games so we have game launcher this is a new one that was featured on the s uh, no not s the note 7 had that and now it's gone so the s8 took over so we have game launcher as well here okay um i think all these are pretty much the same security we only have fingerprint sensor here yeah it's all the same uh cloud and accounts looks pretty much the same google account no google is the same thing oh sorry let's go back to settings um, accessibility I didn't really touch here actually general management I think this is where you change your keyboard yeah language and input software update yeah, it looks like we have a dedicated setting for the software update now so you can check for updates immediately over here just by clicking there and you will check for updates I think they want yeah they won't there isn't an update to as of now and have a dedicated user manual and developer options which already was there so yeah, uh, that's the settings panel. Let's take a look at the camera interface. I think there's no changes. Storage location, yeah, okay. Oh, we have new camera mode. So this was introduced on the Tab S3 as well. So very nice. We have uh, new filters switching the camera. So, uh, no cancel. So yeah, this is the new UI that, will be, that we are getting. And we can swipe right to see our filters. And swipe left to uh, go to the modes, which is kind of nice. Let's check out the pro mode. Oh, we don't really get much options. You can see we only can control the ISO, aperture, and the white balance. So, not plenty of options there. Uh, let's go back uh, to the camera app. Sorry. Let's go to uh, settings and take a look. So, yeah, here I think pretty much the same. Um, yeah, there's not many. Oh, way to take pictures this new. Oh, this is the same it's the same so these are the i think this is the skin tone yeah this one uh, i don't think was there so you can adjust a skin tone for your face if you want you can increase the slider over here and that's pretty much it for the camera interface so we do get some changes at least which is kind of nice to see uh, that all right 
uh, let's take a look at other things maybe uh, let's see hmm. Mm, oh yeah we do have a search for apps uh, bar on top here you can search for anything over here which is nice i don't recall having that in marshmallow but it looks new to me all right guys so uh moving on to the notification panel uh this is where the things also change where this is where things change a lot as well so you can see it here i have a notification um you can uh, swipe left to go to the app settings or you can swipe left to clear it out so yeah, I mean swipe right to go to the settings, swipe left to clear the notification. So yeah. And let's zoom in. I'm gonna show you guys the system panel here. Sorry about the notification. Alright, I'm gonna disable Wi-Fi because I'm getting so many notifications. So here is the panel. You can see very similar to the S8 panel and the Tab S3 panel as well. So yep, here we have all the available toggles you can tweak. And interestingly, we have a search tablet and scan memory devices bar on top of here, which uh, I didn't really notice on my phone, but we have it here on the tab S2. And here you can choose your users. And over here, let me see. I think you can add more toggles. Let's go to this, this tab here. Button order. There we go. You can yeah, you can add some toggles, which only one I can add is nearby, which is kind of interesting. So I can add nearby to the list like this if it's not full. I think only can substitute one. There we go. It's added. And you also can adjust the button grids by clicking on the menu again and then go to button grid and you can adjust 4x3 or 5x3. It's up to you. So yeah, um, basically this, that was it. Uh, let me check the auto brightness. How do we enable it? I can't find a tab. Oh, there we go. Auto brightness and show control on top. This should be on because it's kind of useful. All right. All right. So now when I slide down, you can see it shows the brightness. It's easy to access. So yeah. Anyway, guys. So that's uh pretty much it for this uh, tab S two uh sort of a uh, quick impressions on the Nougat UI. So you can see on landscape, it looks pretty good. So this is how it looks like landscape. And yeah, so I think I showed all the things that I find that is new on this tab. Let's take a look at the weather app. I think this one has changed. And yes, we also do get the weather app which is updated. This is the new weather app. And I don't think we have Google uh, Assistant. Let's just try. I don't think we have. Because tablets aren't supported. Yep, we don't have Google now on... Uh, I mean, we don't have uh, Google Assistant yet on tablets. So yeah. And I think that's pretty much it that covers up all the things that I managed to uh, find that is new. Alright guys, that wraps up everything up with the Galaxy Tab S2 Nougat uh, update. This is just an initial impression of what I think about it. Overall, I gotta say, pretty nice because it looks like <laughs> the Tab S3's UI which is a good thing to see. Uh, I can't really comment on the battery life because I just uh, updated it. Now it's at uh, 60%. I can't really comment anything on the battery life because as I said it's too early so I will keep on using it and I will charge it up again and use it regularly to see whether it's improved or not in terms of battery life versus marshmallow so yeah uh, that's been watching guys thank you much for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next one peace out alright guys uh, before I go I just want to share one thing that when you install the app uh, you, last time in marshmallow it, uh, it always doesn't get sorted out uh, using alphabetical order which is very annoying but finally now as you can see I just installed Geekbench uh, 4 over here just recently just installed it and now you can see it's finally sorted out by itself which is at G finally I've been waiting so long for this feature I mean they should have added it in Marshmallow but it's finally here so you can just go to the uh, little icon here and click sort you can see I'm on alphabetical order finally it's here and it's settled so good job and yep that's been actually guys for this video hopefully you enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next one peace